This is the third time you stood me up. This is supposed to be settled weeks ago. Now, either you make good on your promise, or I assure you, I will make good on mine. Clinton. Lucia. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, my sister, just uh, confirming weekend dinner plans. I'm glad I caught you before you left. The reporter from the Tribune will be here at 1 tomorrow, and I've assured him you'll be on site to answer any questions about the tour in Tunis. I'm in Lancaster tomorrow. Oh, this takes priority. They really are quite spectacular. Admission pre-sales have gone through the roof since the announcement of their arrival. Not a bad return on investment. You can't put a price tag on history. Well, apparently you can. It's five million. <laughs> How about I buy you a drink as a thank you? I, uh, I was planning on sticking around. I uh, have some work to catch up on. Another time. Yeah. I'm glad I caught you before you left. The reporter from the Tribune will be here at 1 tomorrow. We're talking with Jessica Anders, a college student majoring in library science. And Jessica has an unusual problem. She says she's never been in love. I've done my share of dating, but I've never had that all-consuming butterflies in your stomach feeling, like in the movies. Do you watch a lot of romance movies? <laughs> I just find them reassuring. That idea that there's someone out there for everyone and you're destined to find them and get your happy ending. You think I sound unrealistic, don't you? No. Real love may not be like in the movies, but that doesn't mean it can't be just as wonderful. And I'm a sucker for happy endings myself. <laughs> <laughs> and cut! Oh, is it over? Uh, for now. Uh, next, I look for your matches, and then they're... done my share of dating, but I've never had that all-consuming, but real fun begins. <laughs> you did great. Thank you. <laughs> Got it in one. Fantastic. I want to try to have lunch with my dad at the Oswald Museum. Wait, because you've heard such good things about the food court? <laughs> no. They've been dealing with some thefts recently. Employees reporting items stolen out of their offices. And my dad is going to look into it. Uh, well, I thought he's retired. I know, but he's friends with one of the board members and they called in a favor, so. Uh, remember, we've got a Q&A with our first bachelor at 1.30. The fireman. I'll be here. 
Don't be late. Bye. Thank you for coming. We'd like you to investigate the theft of all the items that have gone missing from the museum. Things like watches, cell phones, a camera, just to name a few. All in the last three weeks. Hmm. Personal effects. Mm. Nothing from the exhibits. Not yet, but I fear whoever's doing this may become emboldened. I've included staff files and schedules, and I've asked security to pull the footage from the last month. Oh, that sign belongs at the west entrance. Turin and Atunis, mythical Etruscan lovers. Oh, yes, it's our newest acquisition. We're unveiling it at a black tie event tomorrow evening. Very cool. Oh, if you have a moment, I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Jennings. His watch was the first. First item reported stolen. I know he's very anxious to get it back. Um, do you mind? It's fine. Sure. Yeah. Great. Right this way. So, when exactly was the watch stolen? Three weeks ago. I know it was a gift from his father. Hoping he can give you some more information. He's usually in his office by now. Wait. I hear something. Sounds like scratching. Hello? Dr. Jennings? Chopin, the complete nocturnes. <laughs> That's an odd choice for the morning. Yeah, unless it's been on all night. Call 911. Get help. Dr. Jennings. Is he? Oh, he's gone. Do, do you smell that? What? I'm, I'm not sure. Almonds? Connect me to the thing. Yeah, unless it's been on all night. Carter. Kyle? But he's homicide. The coroner's waiting for a confirmation from the lab, but due to the pink lividity in the skin, I'd have to say that your hunch was right on, Nick. Mm. And you, you got the nose of a bloodhound. <laughs> the smell of bitter almonds is the characteristic sign of cyanide poisoning. Not everyone can detect that odor. You're one of the lucky few. Uh, well, that's not exactly something I can whip out at parties. <laughs> Wait, you said that the victim reported an item stolen recently? Museum has been dealing with a rash of thefts. They suspect one of their employees is behind it. Uh, Dr. Jennings was very vocal about involving the police. Do you think this could be revenge? It's definitely worth noting. Yeah. Why don't you stick around for a little bit, just in case I have a few more questions. I wasn't planning on leaving yet. Well, that doesn't surprise me. It's good to see you. It's been a while. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. What do you say we get some coffee downstairs, huh? Sure. No, no, ma'am, you can, no, you cannot be in here. Oh, yeah, no, hold on, what's going on? She wants to take some evidence from the scene. That laptop is museum property. What laptop? Dr. Jennings' laptop contains research that belongs to the Oswald. We didn't recover a laptop, did we? No. What time did Jennings get to work today? Uh, I don't know. But his assistant, Myra, might. Okay, where can we find Myra? It's definitely worth noting. Yeah. Why don't you stick around for a little bit, just... I'll show you. Excuse me. Uh, Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Um, you can't be back here without authorization. Oh. Detective Carter, are you Myra Tolan? Yes. I just got a couple questions for you. I've been working in the lab all morning. I wasn't scheduled to meet with Dr. Jennings until this afternoon. Okay. I'm sorry. I think I just need to sit down. Well, I'll just take a seat right here. Just take a breath, it's okay. I just saw him last night. What time? Around 7. 
He told me to go home. He was planning to do the same. Hey. Um, we've also been looking for his laptop, and we can't find it anywhere. Does he always bring that to the office? Yes. It has all of his research on it. And uh, what about his cell phone? You can't find his cell phone? Hmm. Went straight to voicemail. It's okay. I just saw it last night. If it's poison, police will need to narrow down the trail. See if it's targeted or accidental. Do you think this could be related to the thefts? No, it's hard to say. But if there are also items missing from his office... Angie! This is a... I've been calling you. The fireman's been waiting at the studio for almost an hour. He's threatening to walk. I'm sorry, Paige. Something came up. What could possibly be more important than our first bachelor? Wait, wait. Is that a dead body? There was a murder. What? Alleged. Miss Dove, um, Detective Carter. Hi. Hi. Uh, he said that you are free to leave, um, but he might follow up with you later. Thanks. Wait, why would he need to follow up with you? I may have been there when the body was found. Wait, again? You act like this is a regular occurrence for me. Uh, you said she's free to go, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. We might make it to set in time if we ignore most traffic laws. You didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. No. Hear what? Okay. And I'm going to stay behind and see if I can help. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Breakfast tomorrow? You bet. Okay. Coat check. I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, he said that you are free to leave, um, but he might follow up to you. There's a security camera at the end of the East Wing Hall. It'll give us a clear shot of Dr. Jennings' door. Um, What's going on? Well, I'm trying to call up the feed, but it's not here. For which camera? Uh, all of them. Well, go back further. I, I am. There must be some mistake. Three weeks of security footage, gone. Oh man, we lost the fireman. The crew couldn't convince him to stick around. I liked him too. Maybe we can reschedule. Hang on just a second. Hey, I'm Angie. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Hey, um, here. Thank you. I'm Myra. I'm sorry about Dr. Jennings. Oh. Were you with him long? We, we weren't together. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean... <laughs> you were his assistant, right? Oh, yes. Um, for about a year. Who couldn't convince him to stick around? I liked him too. Maybe we can reschedule. It's a beautiful necklace. Thank you. Was it a gift? Um, a family heirloom. <gasps> Why don't you hang on to him? Thanks. That was interesting. Well, who is she? That was Jennings' assistant. She was very quick to deny she was dating Jennings, even though I didn't bring it up. You think she's lying? <laughs> There's definitely more to their story than she's letting on. But why would she hide it? It's a very good question. <sighs> what now? Uh, after the autopsy, he'll be released to the family for any services you plan to hold. Our father passed last year. I'm the only family Clinton has left. Oh, I'm sorry. When was the last time you spoke to your brother? 
Six, maybe seven months ago. But you work in town, right, at the university? Did you have falling out? Clinton was brilliant, but difficult. Arrogant. He had very little time for those who didn't benefit him directly. Did he have any enemies that you know of? Maybe somebody that had a vendetta? Have you checked his little black eye? It. It's a very good question. Book. He was always running around with some young woman on his arm. He'd get bored with one and move on to the next. He left a long line of women in his wake. Hmm. Any names? Sorry, I wish I could be more help. Well, thank you for coming down, Dr. Jennings. Oh, hey, um, any luck with that Oswald security footage? Wipes clean, same as some kind of software glitch. Okay, let's get it down to forensics, see if they have any luck with it. You can get a bus. Oh, uh, hi. I was expecting your father. We were just sitting down for breakfast. Come on in. Uh, yeah, I, I can I can come back. This is a bad time. Why would it be a bad time? Uh, because you're about to eat. Dad thought you might drop by. We made extra waffles. Syrup or no syrup? Uh, syrup. All right. Hmm. No, so good. What is that now? Orange maple? Good, right? Mm. Mom sent it. She's at a wellness retreat in Maine. They tapped their own trees. Wasn't that nice of her? Mm. Want some? <clears throat> no, I'm good, thanks. All right, let's get down to business, shall we? The uh, coroner confirmed the cyanide. Hmm. Said that there was uh, alkali burns in Jennings' gastrointestinal tract. Any idea what he ate? Mm, there was cookies at the scene, and so a cup of coffee, half full, a uh, bottle of ibuprofen in the desk. We sent everything to the lab. We're just waiting on the results. Did you find uh, Jennings' laptop or phone? No, no, but we are searching his house right now. His assistant seems pretty adamant that we're not going to find it. Myra? Myra Tolan? Hmm. How do you know her? We chatted briefly. And do you think she's not being honest about the laptop? I don't know about that, but I think she was involved. In the murder? No, no, with Jennings, romantically. <clears throat> well, she uh, did not say anything in the interview. Well, of course not. He was her superior. Obviously, it was a very covert affair, very hush hush. <sighs> and um, what'd you base that on? 15 years of professional experience. She's always been very intuitive. I'm rarely wrong about these things. <laughs> it's my job to read people. Yes, so I've heard. <laughs> hmm. How do you know her? We chatted briefly. <clears throat> For example, sir, your body language is telling me that you are annoyed. Well, you hardly need a degree in psychology. You got halfway here before you realized you left your watch on your nightstand. How could you possibly know that? I told you. I have a sixth sense about these things. Also, the slight tan line on your wrist didn't hurt. All I'm saying is, I don't know, make a note. <laughs> Talk to Myra about dating Jennings. <laughs> Happy? Deliriously. That makes three of us. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. You know, it, it was the way she touched her necklace that, that raised my suspicions. I mentioned Clinton, and her hand shot right to it, like, like she associated it with him. Hmm. A gift, maybe? I don't even think she knew she was doing it. Well, it's probably her tell. Everyone has one. Yep. Like how you squint when you think someone's lying to you. What? I do not do that. Yeah, it's like a squint eyebrow phrase thing. Very subtle, but... Why have you never mentioned that before? 
I can't give away all my secrets. Uh, anyway. to know you and your interests. Personally, I like to use resistance bands. <laughs> Let's table that for a minute. We can circle back. Sure thing. Great. Tell me, um, what do you like to do in your spare time outside of the gym? <laughs> well, I like to read. Really? Oh, yeah. What's the last book that you loved? Don't sweat it. The Five Lifting Essentials. Have you heard of it? I have not, no. You know, I see potential. He's got leading men looks. Uh, yeah, I, when Jessica says she hoped her love life would be like a movie, I don't think she meant a workout video. So he's a little preoccupied. Let's table that for a minute. We can circle back. Sure thing with this fitness regime. There are worse vices. Yeah, look, I I'm not saying he's off the board, but for Jessica, let's look for someone a little more intellectual. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Derek? Yeah? Yeah, Nick Columba. I'm looking into the thefts at the Oswald. I'm sorry, I have class in about 10 minutes. Well, lucky for you, I only need five. Oh, uh, now you reported a uh, stolen camera uh, 10 days ago? Yeah, uh, my DSLR. It was brand new. It took me three months to save up for that. It's a high ticket item to leave unattended. I thought it'd be safe in Dr. Jennings' office. Clinton Jennings? Yeah. Did he tell you I forgot to lock the door? Because I promise you I didn't. He blamed his watch on me, too, but I'm sure you heard all about that. Dr. Jennings is dead. Dead? No. I'm really sorry. I'm going to be late. Uh, well, if I have any more questions, can I find you at the museum? My internship just ended last week, so uh, I got to go. Sorry. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long, Detective. Oh, no, no problem at all. Thank you for the time. Our uh, new... It's a high-ticket item to leave unattended. I thought it'd be safe in Dr. Jennings. This exhibit opens tonight, and recent developments have added complications. I can imagine. Unfortunately, the show must go on. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Turin and Atunis exhibit, that's what Dr. Jennings was working on? Yes. Clinton was our senior historian and exhibit specialist. He was instrumental in the museum's acquisition and verifying its provenance. Provenance? The history of ownership of a work. A complete provenance helps us guarantee authenticity. Okay. Now, Dr. Jennings' time of death put him in his office around 10 p.m. He told his assistant that he was going home early that night, yet he stayed. Do you have any idea why? He told me he was working late. Did anybody else know he'd be in his office? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, his sister, Natalie Jennings. He called her to make dinner plans for the weekend. Miss Jennings, you got a minute? Detective, uh, I already told you, my brother and I haven't spoken in months. I have nothing left to say. Well, a uh, coworker claims to have walked in and the two of you having a telephone conversation around seven o'clock. He or she must have misheard. Would you be willing to verify your phone records? I'll show you right now, so we can clear this up. Okay. He stayed. Do you have any idea why? He told me he was working late. See? 
No calls after five. Will that be all, Detective? Uh, it'd still be okay for us to contact your provider, though, right? Just to double check. Really don't see why that is necessary, but yes. Okay. Great. Thanks for being in touch. So, for Jessica's first date, I was thinking... Thank you. Ah, something like this. Red always makes a statement. True, and statistically, men do find women in red more attractive, but I think for Jessica, we should prioritize comfort. She's going to a nice restaurant, not cleaning out the garage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, is this a Bergiano? This show can't afford designer dresses. Relax. Stella got them for next to nothing. They're fakes. See? Razan, ah. No way. Yeah, knockoffs are getting so good, it's impossible to tell anymore. <laughs> Can we use these on the show? Is it ethical? Stella said knockoffs raise brand awareness. Yeah, that sounds like a spin to me. <sighs> so that's a no on the Burzan, ah. What do you know about Providence? Capital of Rhode Island? Never been out the garage. Wait a minute. Heard it's nice. No, Providence. It's basically the art world's defense against knockoffs. It's what Clinton Jennings was working on when he was murdered. Here we go again. Angie's one true love, a murder mystery. I just wonder if the two things are connected. I mean, Dr. Jennings wasn't just poisoned. His laptop was taken. So you think whoever killed him was after this report? Maybe. I, I just wish I knew more about it. You know, my dad has been interviewing people at the museum. I wonder if he knows somebody who could help. Probably. Hmm. Yeah. Going, going, and it's stabbed at the wall by Rodriguez. Game over for Phyllis. Come on. George? Does Richie mention that you put out a tip box for anyone with leads on the stolen items? I was hoping I could get a peek at that. Uh, there's nothing in there. I went through them all. Yeah, still, I'd like to see. Well, I'm on my break. Oh, well, my apologies. I didn't mean to disturb you. I can wait. <clears throat> oh. Uh, I get an hour, so it'll be a while. Oh, no, 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 by all means. Take your time. I'm retired. Shit, game over for Philly! Come on! George? Holland, right? I'm Angie Dove, Nick Columbus' daughter. You spoke with him about Clinton Jennings. Oh, would you be willing to let me pick your brain? About Dr. Jennings? Actually, about the statues of Turn and Atunis. Oh. Sure. Great. Uh, what do you know about the report that Dr. Jennings was working on on the statues? Well, the Oswald Museum bought the two statues from an art dealer, and Dr. Jennings was to review the provenance and draft a report. Fraud is a real concern in the world of antiquities. You'd be surprised how many respected establishments get duped by fakes. Really? But Dr. Jennings confirmed the authenticity of these? He did. Um, he inspected the statues at the dealer's gallery before the sale and all of the paperwork that came with it. And he was convinced they were the genuine article? Yeah, yes. Um... Hmm. Do you happen to know the name of the art dealer who sold the statues to the museum? Um, uh, Bocamp and Asprey. Yeah. Great. Thank you about the report that Dr. Jennings was working on on the statues. Well, the Oswald Museum. Thank you. Thank you for your help. No problem. One more thing. Are you seeing anyone? Oh, missed up. Uh, I'm flattered, but we oh, just, I... Not, not for me. 
Uh, are you familiar with my show, The Matchmaker? Angie Duff will find you love. There it is. Uh, you help me out. I'd, I'd love to return the favor. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, uh... All right, well, if you change your mind, there's my card. Thank you. Think about it. Thefts reportedly occurred after close, and offices would be locked. Well, museum gets shipment at all hours. Just means we're dealing with an opportunistic employee, not a guest with sticky fingers. Um, hey George, you got a pen on you? Um, uh, oh. <laughs> How long did you say you were in the force? 30 years. Yeah. Those unlock all the offices? Uh, yeah. Offices, labs, exhibit halls. Oh. Here we go. No, I think you're wasting your time. It's just reportedly occurred after close. And offices would be locked. Just a lot of finger pointing. Uh, let's see here. I know Betty Willis is stealing my yogurts from the staff fridge because I see the lids in her trash bin. Hmm. Do you mind if I take these? All yours. Thanks, George. Sure thing. Yeah. Here we go. Bocamp and Osprey, dealers of fine arts and antiquities since 1978. Oh, that painting would look amazing in my living room. It's $50,000. Oh, uh, on second thought, it doesn't go with my rug. <laughs> I mean, they look legitimate, but how much can you really tell from a website? Exactly. Wait a minute. The Etruscan exhibit opens tonight at the museum. I'll bet Bocamp and or Esprit will be there. Probably. And if we were also there, then we could ask them about the statues. What are you suggesting? Grab the burrs on off. We're going to a party. Hi. Hi. Invitation, please. Do you have an invitation? No, but I've talked my way past dozens of velvet ropes and greeters. I need an invitation. You just have to know which buttons to push. How much can you really tell from a website? Exactly. Wait a minute. Gosh, what if those buttons don't work? I have a plan B. No invitation, no entry, no exceptions. Security? Next. Hi. Welcome to the Oswald Museum. Invitations, please. That is a lovely blouse. Is it silk? Yes. Invitations? What? Okay. Well, <laughs> that's strange. I had it just a moment ago. <laughs> Are you Angie Tubb? I am. Oh, I love your show. Oh, thank you. I just bought that perfume you recommended. Fold in a week. A little dab behind the ears is all it takes. Drives the men wild, right? But really, it boosts your confidence, and that's irresistible. <sighs> uh, please, come right in. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Uh, just out of curiosity, if that didn't work, was there really a plan B? I, let's not dwell on what ifs. <laughs> Detective, the coroner gave me the lab report on the items at the scene. Coffee and ibuprofen were clean, but they found traces of sodium cyanide salts in the cookie box. So it was the cookies that killed them. Looks like it. These were meant for museum exhibit opening. But... Trash the men wild, right? But really, it boosts your confidence. And that started at 6. 6. 6.15. I'm surprised I could forget a face. Cannot pay that kind of money, all right? I don't wait to hear from you. It's as pretty as yours. Well, I'll forgive you this one time. <laughs> <laughs> Intriguing coincidence. Oh, 
Turin is the Etruscan goddess of love, which is sometimes symbolized as a dove. That sounds like a line. Maybe it is, but it also happens to be true. <laughs> I heard that you were the one responsible for getting these fabulous statues to the museum. Indeed I am. These relics were originally unearthed at a dig in Tuscany in 1899 and set in a private collection lost to history. That is, until I uncovered them last year. Yeah. Quite a stroke of luck. I've always believed we make our own luck. <laughs> <laughs> the perimeter. Angie? Kyle. Wait. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What's going on? Oh, I will take those. Hey, what is the meaning of this? These boxes of cookies are contaminated with cyanide. That's what killed Clinton Jennings. So for the safety of all of your guests, we're going to need to take all these cookies down to the lab for analysis. Anything you need, Ed. Ladies and gentlemen, please cooperate with the police. And don't eat any of the cookies. Lost to history. That is, until I uncovered them last year. Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't feel so good. You didn't. I did. Okay, there are paramedics right outside. We brought them just in case. Okay. Why are the rest of these cookies? How are you feeling? Anxious. Full of regret. Like I should have taken more vacations. I should have taken more vacations. And then... Physically. Oh, right. Um, I feel okay. Heart rate's a little high, but blood pressure's good. You'd have symptoms by now if you had been poisoned. Oh, thank you. I'm so relieved. Hey, I thought you might need this. Oh, thank you. That's really thoughtful. Yeah, just doing my job, you know, protect and serve. So, serving water. Officer Smith, would you do me a huge favor and stick with Paige for a minute? Uh, yeah, uh-huh, of course. Thanks. It's just a precaution. Your safety is the utmost importance to us. Hey, so were those all the cookies? Everything we had was on the buffet table. How's Paige? Paramedic thinks she's in the clear. Good. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. I don't know if this means anything, but I saw a woman arguing with Simon Bocamp about Clinton Jennings. Uh, do you know how Clinton... Oh. Yeah, uh, just doing my job, you know, protect and serve, so... Jennings got a box of the cookies two days ago. The bakery delivered them early, and they delivered more than we needed, so I gave a few of the extra boxes to some of the staff, but Clinton wasn't one of them. Okay, and what's the name of those staff members? Uh, Sam Garrett, Patricia Reynolds, Carmen Diop, and Myra Tolan. Other cookies got the all clear. Looks like it was just the Jennings box. Which means it was deliberate. Oh, Myra Tolan is waiting in room two. So, Miss Ricci gave you a box of those uh, little Italian cookies, right? Want to tell me how they ended up in Jenny's office? I gave them to him. When? The day they arrived, I left them on his desk. Why? You're not a fan of cookies? Um, I'm diabetic. The cookies are loaded with sugar. Hmm. Am I a suspect? I just need to talk to everyone. Have you spoken to Derek? Derek? Holland. He's a graduate student at Hearst. Um, he worked with Dr. Jennings on the exhibit. He wasn't at the museum when we interviewed So Miss Ricci gave you a box of those uh, little Italian cookies, right? The staff. That's because he was fired a week ago. Fired for what? He was supposed to be helping with the provenance, but Dr. Jennings was dissatisfied with his work. Derek took it pretty hard. They fought about it. So you think that uh, Derek may have been involved in Jennings' murder because he was kicked off the team? Uh, no, I... 
I think he may have been involved because the cookies came from his family's bakery. How you doing? Looking for Derek Holland? Maybe this icing will be easier? I don't know. I... <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep trying. This one's good. This is terrible. Hey, Derek. <laughs> Detective Carter. Miss Dove. Cinnamon bun. They're really good. Over here. Why are you here? I'm interviewing a potential suspect. What? But you think Derek has something to do with Clinton Jennings' murder? Isn't that why you're here? No. I'm trying to find him a match. This OK? We can talk here? Uh, yeah. So. This icing will be easier? I don't know. I. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep trying. This one's good. I'm just going to cut to the chase. Where were you on the night of the fourth? Uh, I was in class until six, and then I went home. Okay. Straight home? Yes. No. Which is it? I got pizza at, at Gino's. Mm. Pay with the card? Cash. Okay. Can anyone confirm this? Uh, the cashier? It was really busy. You might still have the receipt. I can look. So a week before Dr. Jennings' murder, you were fired. Fired? I said that you weren't meeting expectations at work. He did let me go, yeah, but that's not why. As part of my work for Dr. Jennings, I was helping with the provenance, and I started to notice inconsistencies. When I first told Dr. Jennings about it, he was responsive, even grateful. But when I brought it up again, he got defensive and accused me of sloppy research. Hmm. Did you think he was hiding something? Maybe. But Dr. Jennings was the type of person who didn't like to be questioned, especially by some lowly grad student. It was a pretty prestigious placement. I huh? could have led to a full-time job at the museum. Must have been quite a blow. No sense to go, yeah, but that's not why. As part of my work dwelling on what I can't control, think that Derek could murder someone. I mean, he, he makes puff pastries. I think your feelings are clouding your judgment. And what's wrong with seeing the best in people? Oh, nothing. In your line of work, it's probably an asset. For me, uh, looks can be deceiving. That's awfully cynical. It's just the way it is. Well, I, I believe in giving people a chance to surprise you. I got a surprise for you. Remember after our <laughs> last murder case, I promised to take you out for a dessert? Did you? I, I, I mean, I guess technically you did. <laughs> you wanna buy me a cinnamon bun? Uh, more of a traditional donut guy. Cause you're a cop. Cops like donuts. Pretty much. Yeah. How about tonight? Tonight? Mm -hmm. No, I, uh, I mean, um, could do Thursday? Yeah, Thursday works. Eight o'clock. It's a date. Uh, I mean, not, not a, a date. date. It's just a dessert. Right. Yeah. All right, I'll pick you up. Andrew, tell me, what are you looking for in a woman? Shared values. Someone I can take home to my mother. Oh, that's very sweet. Describe your... <laughs> you want to buy me a cinnamon bun? Uh, more of a traditional donut. Your ideal date. Oh, maybe a... Walk on the beach, and then I could cook dinner. You cook? I make a mean shrimp scampi. My mother has a great recipe. Oh, you two seem very close, you and your mother. Oh, <laughs> we're close, but we're not that close. <laughs> we live on completely separate floors in the house. You have mail. Uh, matches 
or murder? Murder. For now. I should really get another board. Oh! Ha! I tracked down the photographer from the exhibit opening, and I got him to send us copies. How did you manage that? I promised we'd hire him to shoot next season's publicity shots. I forwarded you his quote. It's a little high. That's a lot of suspects. They all wanted Clinton Jennings dead. Well, I don't know. This is Myra Tolan, Jennings' assistant, and probably secret girlfriend. I mean, could heartbreak be the motive? Jealousy? Derek Holland, he was fired a week before the murder, so he had an axe to grind. Simon Bocamp, the art dealer who sold the statues to the museum. If Jennings uncovered... <laughs> I tracked down the photographer from the exhibit opening, and I got him to send us... Fraud, it would be very costly for Bocamp. And there's one more. Huh. Yes. I saw this woman arguing with Bocamp about Clinton at the museum. Well, who is she? I don't know. I know who might. Yes, Lucia Ritchie, please. Miss Ritchie, it's Angie Dove. I wonder if you could help me identify someone. Dr. Jennings, uh, do you have a moment? I'm Angie Dove. Miss Dove, I must admit, I was very surprised to receive your email. Oh, my show is always looking for Philadelphia's best and brightest to showcase on the program. And you know, we've never had a botanist. Well, I hate to disappoint, but I do not require the services of a matchmaker. I was just making some tea. Would you like some? Sure. Do you take milk, sugar? No, thank you. Huh. Please don't touch that. Sorry, that's nidoscola stimulosis. Dr. Jennings, uh, do you have a moment? I'm Angie Dove. Contact with the skin results in a painful sting and lingering rash. This pretty little flower can do all that? Looks can be deceiving. For example, that purple flower over there is wolfsbane. It contains a neurotoxin called aconitine. Very deadly. Hmm. Thank you. Still a little hot. <laughs> How is it? Nice. Um, uh, chamomile? A hibiscus blend. Oh, yes, it does have a bit of a floral undertone. It does. Now, why are you here, really? <laughs> what do you mean? Let's not play games, Miss Dove. You were at the exhibit opening asking questions about my late brother, and now you're here at my office with a very flimsy cover story. Well, I thought it was pretty good, but... <laughs> uh, but you're right. I came to ask you about an argument you had with Simon Bocamp. Simon and I were discussing a personal matter. Do you mind me asking what that personal matter was? I do. Oh. Good tea. Are these your parents? They are. When my mother passed 10 years ago. It was very hard on Clinton and me. I'm sorry. That's a very striking necklace. It's a family heirloom. Clinton always loved it. My mother left it to him. You know, on second thought, I would like some sugar, if it's not too much to ask.
You know, on second thought, I would like some sugar. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. Hey, you got your own office. Moving up. <laughs> Aren't you wondering why I'm here? Nope. Okay. Good. Then we can skip the formalities. Is that my mug? Oh, yeah. I washed it. Look familiar? The pendant. It used to belong to Clinton Jennings' mother. Hmm. And now it's around Myra Tolan's neck. Mm -hmm. So you were dating? Yeah. So why'd you lie? Do you know how that would look? If people found out that I was dating my boss, no one would take me seriously. Where did you get that picture? It belongs to Natalie Jennings. You spoke to Clinton's sister? No. Yes. Did I not mention that? No. Did she tell you about their fight? Uh, what fight? Last month. No. No. She wanted Dr. Jennings, Clinton, to lend her some money. And I'm guessing he did. So you were didn't? No, his sister was pretty angry about it, too. After he kicked her out, she kept screaming at him in the hallway outside of his office. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what does she need the money for? Something about a debt. Did anyone else here? Just me. Well? Well, what? Uh, just let's have it. Come on. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I told you so. Kyle, you know, I'm disappointed. You really think so little of me that I would gloat about this? Huh. All right. I stand corrected. Thank you. Even though I was 1,000% correct. See, I knew it. You couldn't resist. I'm looking for a very specific watch with an opaline dial and an alligator strap. Oh, hold on. You've been on it. Yes, I'll hold. Hey, Dad. Hey. Brinkley's Pawn Shop. You're finally getting rid of that couch in the den? Following up on the Oswald. What's wrong with the couch in the den? Want some coffee? Yeah. Kyle tells me you two have a date on Thursday. What? No. I stand corrected. Thank you. Even though I was 1,000... Did he call it that? He said he owed you dessert. Right, yeah. No, that's, that's all it is. Dessert. Yeah. It's a, it's a long story. He ruined my dessert with Ethan. Your ex-boyfriend. Right, when he falsely arrested him for murder. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so. He owes me one. Dessert. Right. Mm. Huh. Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Thank you. Oh, nothing, huh? Okay, thanks for your time. How many pawn shops have you called? Seven. Are you sure that the items were sold? I mean, maybe your thief just kept the stuff. Well, look at the list. What do you see? Two cell phones, two iPads, three watches, duplicates. Mm -hmm. And a building full of valuables. But our guy only goes after the items he can easily move. Now, this is someone who's after quick money. Hmm. Do you really not like that couch? I picked it out myself. Nobody likes that couch. Huh. So you told me that you haven't spoken to your brother in months. It was one time, and it was a conversation I didn't wish to relive. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask you to relive it for the moment. Okay, so you went to the Oswald Museum last month to borrow some money from your brother. Why? I owed some debts. I didn't have anyone else to turn to. Two cell phones, two iPads, three watches, duplicates. Mm -hmm. And a... What kind of debts? I have an affinity for nice things. It can get me into trouble. 
I just needed to buy a little more time, but Clinton refused. That must have made you angry. I was disappointed. Did you ask him again? No. He made it clear the first time that I could not count on his help. Someone here to see you. Have a seat. What's going on? I just wanted to apologize. You've been so kind. And I'm sorry I wasn't up front. You had your reasons. You had us pegged from the beginning. How'd you know? I saw your heart. No matter the bluff, there's always a tell. You loved him. I did. I just wish he felt the same. He ended things? When? A few days before he died. Myra, I, you see how that looks? I can't tell the cops, but if they find out and what's going on, I just wanted to apologize. You've been so kind. They realize that I lied again. Angie, I don't know what to do. You have to tell Detective Carter everything. Kyle, it's, it's Angie. Can I meet you at the station? You're at the Oswald. I think I saw something under there. Kyle? Angie, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need you to stay right there, okay? Detective, we got something. Angie, I don't know what they're looking for. This is your workstation, right? Yes. Is that Clinton's cell phone? We need you to come with me. No, there's been a mistake. Please, I don't know how that got there. Angie, please, you have to believe me. <sighs> this is a real problem. I know. If Myra didn't kill Jennings, then why does she have a stolen phone? I meant the bachelors. We need to film our final segment. Angie, yeah, I don't know what they're looking for. And we still don't have a match. Who's it gonna be? Tony or Andrew? Neither. Neither? No. Neither is Mr. Wright. I promised Jessica a match. We can't settle for second best. Well, that leaves us without a final segment. What are we gonna do? <sighs> no, we're pushing that exhibit back to January. Yes, to accommodate the gallery. Can I call you back? Mr. Columba, thank you for calling. Of course. I've got some good news. I tracked down two of the items to a pawn shop. Now, the owner is willing to send me his tapes. See if we can get a good look at who sold them. That won't be necessary. We found our thief. One of the janitorial staff confessed. I see. Will you be filing a report with the police? No, we'll be handling it internally. I uh, thank you so much for your hard work. And I've already had your check sent out. <sighs> Thanks. I can't believe this is all happening. We're gonna get you out of here. Okay, but in order to do that, you have to help me find the person who actually killed Clinton Jennings. <laughs> How can I do that in this place? Talk to me. Let's go through everything that you know. Okay. Okay. So if someone stole Clinton's laptop, maybe they were interested in what was on it. Documents? That won't be necessary. We found our thief. One of the janitorial thefts. Emails? He'd have a lot of those saved to the cloud. You wouldn't happen to know his password, would you? Maybe we could access them remotely. No. Derek? Derek? He might know Clinton's login information. I'll ask him. Do you need anything? Just please get me out of here. 
I'll do my best. And hey, Angie. Thank you. Okay, so what do you got? Phone's wiped. Wiped? Forensics couldn't find a thing. Anything that was on it, it's gone. Why would Myra take the time to wipe the phone instead of just disposing of it? What, you think it could have been planted? Well, I'm already looking in her direction. Maybe somebody's just trying to push the investigation along. Hmm. Thank you. Derek? Miss Dobbs, um... Is this a good time? Yeah, sure. Uh, sorry, I just wasn't expecting any guests. Um... <laughs> Astronomy, chemistry, historical romance. Uh, yeah. Um, forensics couldn't find a thing. Anything that was on it, it's gone. Um, is this about the show? No. It is about Myra Tolan. What about her? She's been arrested. But you think she killed Dr. Jennings? I don't think so. And I'd like to help clear her name. She seems to think that you might have access to Dr. Jennings' account information. Logins, passwords. Not off the top of my head, no. Uh, but maybe in the paperwork. I, I can check my files. It'll just take a minute. Oh, great. Go ahead, make yourself comfortable. Just right there. <laughs> comfortable. Um. <laughs> What are you hoping to find in Dr. Jennings' emails? Oh, you know, probably nothing. It's just, it's just a hunch. Oh, well, here's everything from my time at the Oswald. I'm not sure if it'll be useful, but you're welcome to it. Great, thanks. Thanks, <laughs> great. Well, you said that. Is everything okay? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? You just seem a little jumpy is all. I, I knew I should have said no to that third espresso. <laughs> Take that fee, sir. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Tell me something. You like your job? It's a living. Yeah. I heard there's a, a slot opening up on the late shift. No, we're fully staffed. Really? No firings lately? No, sir. Hmm. Well, oh, thank you. You have a good day. You like your job? It's a living. Yeah. I heard there's a... Are you thinking of that for Jessica's date? No, for me. I think Jennings met with Simon Bocamp the night he was murdered. I saw SB written in the calendar that Derek gave me. But why? That's what I want to find out. Not exactly your style. I need to transform Angie Dove into a woman who can afford anything. Well, I'm assuming by your pics that this version of you has terrible taste. Maybe you can help me. I, I need something that says, hello, I'm independently wealthy. Sell me an overpriced vase. Oh. 
I've got something for that lady. Yes. Hey, Simon. <laughs> hey, Smith. You ever get anything on Derek Holland? Yeah, I haven't been able to track him down, but we have an alert out. All right. Oh, detective. Forensics recovered some of that security footage. They just sent it over. That's great. I'll, I'll come with you. Well, it looks like we got the Oswald lobby. Fast forward. And, oh, who's that? Natalie Jennings. 9.30. Laptop. Hope you didn't have any plans tonight. What makes you think he's gonna tell you anything? Simon Bocamp fancies himself as a ladies' man. I think this little lady can get him to talk. Angie, this could be dangerous. I'll be fine. I'll be fine because I have you as my safety net. Well, me? What am I going to do? I'll text when I get there, and if I don't call you back 10 minutes later, call the police. <laughs> That's not a safety net. Actually, not open at the moment, um, but I'd be happy to schedule an appointment for you tomorrow or maybe even later today. <laughs> oh, I won't take up much of your time. I'm in the market for some new art. I've recently become interested in uh, antiquities. Money is no object. <laughs> well, hey. um... We do have one piece that just came in. Um, can you come back later today? I'm here now. Couldn't I take a quick look? One teeny little peek, and I'll be on my way. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. That is amazing. How much is this? Uh, we're asking 75000 for this piece. Whoa. That, that is quite a steal, obviously. Of course, you have the provenance for this? Oh, of course. And it's impeccable. I'd love to see it. I'd love to walk out of here with this today. And maybe a few more pieces for the guest house. Of course. Um, one moment, please. Oh, my. That is amazing. Here. You have two of them? They are a pair. But they're identical. No, 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 there are little uh, differences. I'm sorry, we're going to have to reschedule your appointment. What is she doing here? <laughs> Let me guess. That's Clinton Jennings' missing laptop. I told you I was coming. I didn't plan this. She just barged in and she wouldn't leave. You were in a cell to him, weren't you? Who are you? A police officer? 
No, she's a TV matchmaker. Well, never mind who I am. The real question is, what's on that laptop that's so important you had to kill your brother? We can't just let her leave now. What if she goes to the police? Well, it's a little late for that now. Come from something solid. Let go of me. That ought to hold you. I told you I was coming. I didn't plan this. She just barged in and she wouldn't leave. on your part uh, yeah I, I only wanted to ask Simon a few questions <laughs> no I was talking about that outfit <laughs> but you're a homicide detective not the fashion police uh-huh well let's go am I under arrest no the only way to make sure that you play by the rules is not to let you out of my sight <laughs> maybe I should change first good idea Hans von der Luba. Is that a person, place, or thing? It's a Dutch art forger. Works mostly ancient bronze statues. And according to the files on Jenny's laptop, Bo Camp hired him to replicate the Turin and Atus. So the statues in the Oswald are fakes. And Jenny's found out. After the statues were delivered to the Oswald, your brother discovered that Bo Camp had swapped them out for forgeries. But instead of reporting that to his superiors, he decided to blackmail Bo Camp, promising to stay quiet if he was paid. <laughs> Maybe I should change first. Good idea. Hans von and then you found out. How? You were at the museum the night of the murder. decided to leverage your brother, try and get the money that you wanted him to give you. And he refused to pay up. Is that why you killed him? I didn't kill him. When I got to his office, he was already dead. But I thought it was a heart attack. So you took the laptop and the phone in hopes of blackmailing Bo Camp yourself? His phone? I never took his phone. Forgeries? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It seems I misplaced my trust. Thank you, detective. You got it. So who do you think killed Clinton? Well, we still don't know yet for sure. Have a seat. Angie, I don't want to go back to jail. Uh, you won't. They said my release was conditional, but I could end up back there. Uh, we're close to finding out who really did this. I feel like we're missing something, you know? Laptop and the phone in hopes of blackmailing Bo Camp yourself? His phone. I wonder if I could get another look at his office. You know where the whole thing began? That section of the museum is locked down. Strict orders from the top. What time does the museum close? Five o'clock? Why? I have an idea. They're saying there was a member of the janitorial staff, but you don't believe them? No, I'm working on my own theory. What's this? Huh? Oh. Miss Tolan, I've been told you can't be on the premises. I know, I just, there's a couple of personal items I need to collect, please. I'll only be a moment. You can come with me. Come on, George. You gotta do your rounds anyway.
See a sweater. Uh, I swear I left it right here. Um, maybe I left it in the back. We are going to nail Bo Camp to the wall. It's fraud, Robert. I hope he's enjoyed his last few days as a free man. Yes, yes, I'm still here. Clinton, the pendant necklace, it belonged to his mother. And you gave it back to him, didn't you? When he broke things off. He told me he wasn't interested in a relationship at the time. But when you saw Myra wearing it, you realized that was a lie. I had hoped I could win him back, but she was in the way. Wait a minute. You weren't trying to poison him. You were trying to poison Myra. Me? Yes, you. I was beside myself when I saw him dead on the floor. That's right, you took his phone. And put it in my lap. <sighs> I think that's enough detective work for today, ladies. You're not actually gonna shoot us. It'll be simple to, it belonged to his mother. And you gave it back to him, didn't you? When he... Explain? I was headed to my office when I saw two very suspicious figures. It was dark, I feared for my life, and... No one will believe you. They don't have to believe me. Security footage will show you two breaking into the museum, and a very loyal security guard on my payroll will attest to everything I've said. Two days ago, someone tried to move Dr. Jennings' stolen watch at Cash Point Pawn. Hmm. That looks an awful lot like you, huh? That's a security alarm. Yeah, and that's Jennings' office. I assure you, Miss Dove, I take no pleasure in your death. Though I may take a little in yours. Lucia, please, put the gun down. Turn yourself in. Make things right. It's too late for that. He left Myra, too. What? Don't you see? You have more in common than you think. She's not the one you should be angry with. I'm not angry. I am hurt. And I understand that. Why wouldn't you be? 
You offered him your heart, and that takes a lot of courage. But Myra is not the enemy. I assure you, Miss Dove, I take no pleasure in your death. Though I'm- Clinton wasn't a good person, Lucia. He played everyone. You, Myra, the museum. Aren't you through being a fool for Clinton Jennings? say that was some nice de-escalation thanks give people a chance and they can surprise you not that i'm not happy to see you but why are you here oh uh making a pickup okay. the thief <sighs> aside from miss ritchie george is the only other person who knew that i was hired to look into the stolen items giving him more than enough time to erase the security footage i checked in with a couple of bookies i know Georgie uh, lost his shirt betting on baseball games. But what about the fire janitor? A cover. There was no fire janitor. Ah, she didn't care about the stolen items anymore. She wanted to get a smart detective like you out of her museum. Ah. And Derek? Give people a chance and they can surprise you. Not that I'm not. Well, he took a couple boxes of cookies from his family's bakery. Didn't think anybody would notice. He said college kid they're perpetually hungry yeah. look at that everything tied up in a little bow well there is one last thing what's that why are you here at the museum do you know it's late i am i am tired you guys got it from here right you're not getting away that easy okay yeah that's what i thought bye <laughs> she's your kid <laughs> It's a match. Wow, you always do this. Do what? Uh, pull a rabbit out of a hat? I never thought we'd find someone for Jessica. Ye of little faith. <laughs> I had plenty of faith. What we didn't have was viable suitors. Yeah. Um, sometimes you gotta improvise. Wow, um, I love that book. Really? Do you, do you read a lot? Yeah, actually, I'm studying library sciences. Oh my goodness, I work at a library. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah, you should come by sometime. Okay. We have some pretty good books. Yeah. Staff's not bad either. Cheers. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna grab drinks? Rain check. Someone for Jessica. Ye of little faith. <laughs> I had plenty of faith. Well Hello. Hey. You know, you take an awful lot of risks for somebody who doesn't carry a badge or a gun. <laughs> I guess I'm lucky I have you to back me up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm closing out this case file, and I got a couple loose ends I want to run by. I'm always happy to help. Okay. Are you hungry? Uh, yeah. Frank and Carlos on fifth? They have the best Philly cheesesteaks and great desserts. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. It's Friday night, though. I really doubt we're going to get in there. Oh, please. Who do you think introduced Frank to Carla? Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. OK. How did today go? Oh, great. Another match. Ooh. Yep. Bad in a thousand. Of course. There we go. Let's play a little game, shall we? In front of me are three different beverages. Black coffee, homemade kombucha, and number three, white wine. Now, what if I told you the murder victim in the new Martha's Vineyard mystery drank one of these and died moments later? Time to pick your poison. Choose wisely. Let's do it. Okay. How did today go? Oh, great. 